Uh, so this is the toy hauler ramp door. I just got done putting it the new one together. Unfortunately, I didn't take time to film everything, but uh, so I watched a video. Of this one guy called the Sailor Adventures. He rebuilt a door. And that's where I got this idea. So this is my old one, and as you can see, it's pretty bad, pretty rotted. Somebody tried repairing it with great stuff, did not work. So my door was real rotted and soft is starting to push through on the top side. Any day is gonna, side by side, is gonna fall through it. So what I did though, because my, I didn't wanna reuse the grip tape and the outsides messed up, it was breaking and it was all junk. So there's holes you can't see, but there's holes in this, so. I opted to not reuse that. So what was different from his video, I went with two pieces of three quarter plywood sanded. It's a little bit different in thickness from the regular three quarter because it's sanded. These are some pieces from what, we, what you have to cut off. And I glued it and everything. I used a different glue. So. I did this, here's one three quarter, the other three quarter. And then to make up the difference, since I'm not using the other, the outside inside layer, I got a small piece, a five millimeter piece, put it in the middle and it gives you correct thickness to go inside here. It's perfect, it was a perfect fit inside the frame rails. Um, the glue I used, I think it already got thrown away, but uh, it was DAP Weldwood. That's what I used. So I pretty much did everything just like he did, the uh, Sailor Adventures did in his video. Um, but I just, I used a different glue and it worked. This just, these pieces were able to pull apart because I, I didn't glue the very edge, edges where they were going to get cut off. But so... What makes it nice is the bottom side looks really good because of the sanded plywood. I just painted it white and then I used Herculine or bed liner. Got it at, you get it at your auto parts stores. And that's what I painted this side with. So turned out looking really good. And I'll uh, take another video once it's all on, back on the toy hauler. Right now it's all, curing right now so it needs a cure for at least 24 hours or more with the and i just use the gorilla glue i just use the good old gorilla glue just put a nice big fat bead down the middle on the inside then those corner pieces cover them put a bunch of glue in there and cover them put it all together kind of adjust it with a with a dead blow and then put all your straps on and just snug them up so they're hold everything together and before you cut your wood <coughs> the old piece is 90 and a half by 90 and a half my new piece is 90 by three quarter by 90 and three quarter because i laid the frame out on the ground Got everything, got it squared up how it needs to be, and I measured the inside, and it was actually 90 and three quarter. So I got it to where it, it was actually, my bad, 90 and seven eighths. I cut it at 90 and three quarter, gave me a little bit of room for glue, and it turned out great. So I'll take a short video once it's back on the toy hauler, but uh. I know this video sucks because I didn't record any of the work process, unfortunately. But if you want to do it that way, this is for my 07 Keystone Fusion toy hauler. And like I said, I went with two pieces of three quarters sanded. Got them at Home Depot. And then this little guy in the middle, it was a five millimeter piece. And that I put it in the middle and then it made the gap perfect. I just measured with a micrometer the inside when this was all apart 
and I went over there to and Matt made got wood all laid on each other and that's what I came up with and it worked out perfect so there we go if you got a if you need to rebuild one and your inside outside pieces are junk and you don't want to try to reuse them bed liner one side and just paint the other by the sanded plywood and it has a nice finish and in that view